we meet here. Hero faces seemingly impossible challenge. The plot twist. The hero prevails. In Hollywood, this would be the end. But out here, we're just getting started. The 2023 Nissan Frontier. Now get a low $299 per month lease on the 2023 Nissan Frontier with best-in-class standard horsepower. Join the circle of life at the Lion King. Now on stage at the Pantages Theater through March 26th only. Visit broadwayandhollywood.com. At NBC Universal, we are recognizing black heritage on a global scale. Let's look closer and unite our unique cultures. Discover black heritage. Sponsored by McDonald's of SoCal. Proud sponsor of the black and positively golden leaders in our communities. Now at 530, a high school basketball star, a fraternity leader, and an aspiring doctor. The faces of three students killed when a gunman opened fire on the Michigan State campus last night. Five others were critically injured in that attack. And tonight we are learning more about the victims and the gunman. The gunman was found dead on campus. Authorities say he shot himself. They also say he had a note on him that caused concern at two other schools in another state. Jonathan Deans from Alexander. 20-year-old Brian Frazier, a popular president with his fraternity, and 19-year-old Ariel Anderson, who relatives say wanted to be a doctor. Three promising lives cut short amid the shooting rampage last night in two Michigan State buildings. Michigan State was put on lockdown as hundreds of police officers searched the huge campus for the 43-year-old suspect. Police releasing this photo overnight, which led to the break they needed. It was a caller's tip that led law enforcement to that suspect in the city of Lansing. Police closed in on Anthony McRae, who shot himself in nearby Lansing. McRae's father said his son had turned evil and mean about two years ago after his mother had died of a stroke. Police say it's unclear why this man with little contact with Michigan State chose to target college students. We have absolutely uh, no idea what the motive was at this point. We can confirm that the 43-year-old suspect had no affiliation to the university. McRae had previously lived in Ewing Township, New Jersey, and a note in his pocket threatened two schools there. As a precaution, the entire district was shut down today. I'm not going to give out specifics as to what the threat was, but it was a threat of violence. Both Fisher Middle and Ewing High School were named in the suspect's note, and while McRae had not lived in Ewing for years, the 43-year-old did attend K-12 through here. I've spoken to some people who said that they were in class with him, so. Ewing neighbors stunned to hear the man who killed three Michigan State students also threatened his hometown. Kind of disheartening and a little scary to be so close. In Michigan, McRae did have a past weapons conviction. And today, crime scene tape surrounds the student center in nearby Berkey Hall, where the gunman targeted students, Run! some diving for cover as others fled out windows. At that moment, I um, thought that I was going to die. I was so scared. I will never forget the screams of my classmates as they were, like, screaming in pain for help. Driver caught on camera here ramming cars in Mission Viejo, a parking lot there last week. She is now charged with five counts of assault with a deadly weapon and 13 counts of vandalism, all of them felony charges. This happened last Thursday. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Aria Martin is also charged with driving under the influence of a drug and resisting arrest. Production of the movie Rust is set to resume this spring, and Alex Baldwin will remain in his starring role despite the criminal charges in connection to the shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Hutchins died on the set after a bullet that came from the prop gun Baldwin was holding killed her. Rust director Joel Souza was shot in the shoulder by that same bullet. He is staying on as director in the new production. Matthew Hutchins, Helena's husband, dropped his wrongful death suit and reached a settlement with the rest producers, and he will now join as an executive producer. More remarkable rescues today, more than a week after the devastating earthquakes that hit Turkey and Syria. A teenager and his brother both pulled from the rubble of a building nearly 200 hours after that quake struck. They're both at the hospital now. But the number of rescues like this are dwindling as operations scale back. The death toll has now passed 35,000 people. 
Now to the very latest on the search for debris from those three unidentified objects shot down over the U.S. and Canada. Today, the White House held a briefing offering a little information, saying it was still trying to figure out their origin here. NBC's Tom Costello with details.